Happy birthday. I heard it's uh, your birthday today. You didn't yeah. say anything earlier. Yeah, it's a birthday, boy. It's great. Uh, you were just telling me uh, before you hopped on a media day that uh, you've been here for a couple of days. Uh, just your thoughts on Vancouver. It seems like you're really liking it. Man, it's beautiful here. Um, yeah, we you know, it's on the way over. It's like, oh, man, Canada, it's going to be all right. And then we got here, man. Hey, we could live here, man. Vancouver's nice. Yeah, it's a good time. Uh, training camp, looked like everything went really well over there at MMA Masters. I know that's something you've been doing the last couple of fights. Uh, how did uh, the camp wrap up and everything? Oh, man, it was perfect. These back-to-back -back camps, man. So it's like, you know, sometimes you come into camp a little bit not in shape. So it's like I was already in fight shape coming into this one. So we just – bettered everything i'm just a little bit better version than i was everything went smooth and uh it's go time and uh just last one for me you're gonna be a dad soon is that on your mind how much is that on your mind sort of going into this fight knowing you're gonna be providing for someone else than just yourself and your wife yeah man just in general man it makes a sacrifice more it's like i have my wife's flying in today and it's like uh, i haven't seen her in weeks you know it's the midway through 2023 i've been at my house probably four weeks out this year and uh it's like I'm missing the pregnancy of my boy, and uh, it's going to be worth it. Hey, Ray. Uh, obviously, uh, Dan Ige, who's been around for a long time, he posted like, uh, a, a, like a photo of him on a train. He's like, oh, I'm going to derail the hype train and this and that. So what do you make of Dan as an opponent in there? Yeah, you know, I see stuff like that. I'm like, man, at least have an original idea. I've never heard that one. I've never heard I'm going to derail the train. Train's getting, it's like, that's the oldest one. I've heard that probably like. Come up with something. So it's like, it kind of is like, uh, that's, that's whack. But, I mean, I get it. If you can't think of nothing else, it's cool to say you might as well go to that. And what do you make of his skill set? And obviously he's fought some of the who's who at this division, been around for a long time. Man, he's good. That's not, um, we was talking about the other day. Uh, every day when I was going to sleep for this fight camp, I knew I was fighting some, one of the best in the world. But every day he goes to sleep knowing he's fighting a fucking monster. And how has life changed for you over the past few years? Because obviously it seems like every fight you gain more and more fans and more and more traction. So how's life now? Can you, like, do, are more people recognizing you? Yeah, I man, I get a little bit more recognition, but I try to keep myself low-key, man. I don't really be on the Instagram posts and like that. I just, I live my life. I feel like I give enough to, when I'm out here fighting, I give enough to this game to where I keep my private life my private life, you know. And historically in the UFC, like Max Holloway has become a big name here in in uh, Canada. Uh, he calls it the tenth tenth island because Hawaiians always come here and this and that. So, uh, what do you think of the reception is going to be when you and Dan eventually face off and fight in there? We're the main attraction of the evening, brother. It's the it's the people's main event. We're gonna steal the show. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the one to steal the show from everybody. Did you get your purple belt? Oh yeah, I got my purple belt. Yeah, your boy's legitimate. You know, when you talk about uh, this matchup, there's a lot of excitement. A lot of people are saying, you know, fight of the night already. When you come into these matchups, though, does part of you go, man, I don't want another one of these wars. I want a quick night in the office. No, I got the kind of style to where I could become whatever I need to become. I've been pretty good about being a little bit more aware of keeping the distance with kicks and punches, but I could brawl on a dime. I've been in hard punches. I've been in the fire, so... If it becomes a firefight, I'm I'm calm in that situation. I've been into some some battles, man. Every fight I've ever been in is fight of the night, performance of the night. I've never had a lackluster. It's I'm ready for that. They say that I'm stepping up in competition, but man, and he's been around for a while. I've been around for a while. I've been fighting for a while. I've been 25 minutes with some bad men. I've been I finished, man. I got eight finishes on my resume from knockout, TKO. I broke men's jaws, you know what I mean? I've, I've been able to come to the UFC and submit some people. So, I mean, at this point in my life, I just turned 35 today. I can't wait. He's got time to sit back and wait, but I can't wait. Thanks very much. Nate, over here on your right. Down here. You talked to us yesterday about originally wanting everybody to come to Clarksville, and if I build it, they will come, and, and they just didn't come and having to make that tough decision to go down to MMA Masters. What has that impact been like for you of, of going down there, both from leaving home, but also of getting down to that gym and working with that team? Yeah, it just helps with the, just the undivided attention, man, just laser focus. And it's like, you always know you're sacrificing things in this training camp, but it just makes it more just evident. You know, it's right, it's every day. It's like, I miss my wife, I miss my, 
Like just simple things like my big, nice king size bed. I don't sleep in that. It's nice, but I don't sleep in that. You know, I got a nice little shower at the house. I don't use that. I take all cold showers. I try to take away all the comforts. And uh, if you're not willing to do that, like I try, I try my, my whole 20s, I try to build a camp in Clarksville. I figure, you know, you build it, they come. But it's just one of them things to where you got to do what you got to do. Now, you were mentioning that you weren't super impressed with his train trash talk. I feel like you're never shy of bigging yourself up, but we never hear you talking trash about your opponents, really. Is that something you're ever thinking about doing to try and build your brand, or is that just not you? No, I mean, I'm not really about that trash talk. I might, you know, I'm going to talk shit to you in the cage at, at, the, at the least. If, if I'm talking shit, it's in person. It's not going to be like... I try not to be fake or force anything. It's like we're not... We're rivals, but we're not enemies. I know in my heart, at this level, in a different life, we would be friends. We could probably be like teammates, brothers, but not in this life, not today, you know what I'm saying? Not, not this time. What's one of the craziest things you've said to someone in the cage? Probably uh, when I was over there in Russia, man, get your bitch ass up, you know what I mean? Just over here. Yeah, just wanted the prediction from you for the main event. I mean, it'd be hard to go against Nunez. It's just one of those things where you saw if you're gonna if you're a bad man, you'll put it on her. One more down here on your right, Nate. You've become known now for these promos after these victories. What's the what's the where did it come from that you became this dude that's that's cutting promos? Who do you look at? Who are the inspirations? And uh, can we get a little sample of, of what we, we may get on Saturday night? Man, it's just one thing. It's just like you got to you gotta fight your ass off for them 15 little seconds. So it's like you might as well make it worth it. So it's like it's easy for me just to be myself. So when I'm myself, I'm at my best. And uh, it's like a, like a probably like a rapper freestyle. And this got to come to you, man.